Hey guys, it's Jen, aka MotoGP Sillies, and today I'm going to tell you about this year's America's GP where I was a real life umbrella girl for Romano Fanati. So keep watching and I'll explain how it all happened and all the cool experiences that my friends also had that morning. So keep watching. The forecast for Saturday of the 2019 America's GP called for rain and thunderstorms most of Saturday morning, but we had no idea how intense it would really get. We got to, I want to say it rained a little bit on the way over there to Circuit of the Americas, and then we found a shuttle, and it was me and my three friends, uh, Claudio, Fran, and Ian. So we found a shuttle. They were holding us because of lightning. I guess Coda shuts down if there's lightning. But people had been waiting in our shuttle for a long time, I guess, and they were getting restless and kind of pressuring the driver. And at that moment, it wasn't raining and we couldn't really see any lightning, so the driver just said, okay, I'm going. So they drive us into the paddock, drop us off, we get scanned in, and we're just chilling. It's early morning. Uh, I mean, like right when the gates open, I want to say around 8. And it's pretty quiet, not much hustle and bustle. And we found the perfect place to stand on Friday to kind of catch the riders as they came in. It's this entrance. So we just hung out there. And then all of a sudden, the heavens opened up and it was raining cats and dogs. Shuttles were still running and dropping off teams and riders and umbrella girls and crew members and they all started to gather under this underhang. <laughs> this is we were under an underhang safe and dry but the wind was crazy and that area was starting to fill up. And so my awesome friend Ian, he had brought in a Ducati umbrella, a big old Ducati umbrella, and he just said, I'm going to go see if any of those people want me to escort them to wherever they're going. So he went over. Oh my God. Who's going Someone accepted, he walked someone, and then he came back to us and was like, Jen, you need to go over there, Miguel Oliveira's under there. So I was like, oh, should I do this? Oh my gosh. I was in a full on poncho. I had a tiny umbrella. So I just decided I'm gonna go over there. So I run over, you're instantly soaked. Your shoes are instantly soaked the minute you leave the underhang. So shoes were over, but I was mostly covered. I get over there, I'm just like, does anyone need an umbrella? And from like four four rows back, I see a hand go up. And I'm like, oh my God, it's Romano Fanati. <laughs> so it was super eager. His hand went up right away. He pushed through people and came up to me. And I we walked barely to the end of the row. He still needed to go quite a ways, but he was like, okay, thanks and just ran. So that's where this picture was taken. It looks like I'm not sheltering him, but he just like was super eager to get under the umbrella, barely wanted the help, and then bolted off. So that's why I said I was an umbrella girl for Romano Fanati. I went back over there, asked if anyone needed an umbrella, and I got a guy from the Patronus Yamaha team, a bald guy, um, I kind of gave him the umbrella and just kind of walked behind him. He dashed away with the umbrella and I hurriedly walked behind him. He gave the umbrella back to me. I made my way back and just kept doing that. I walked not that many people, maybe about 10 people. The sweetest was a Premac mechanic who 
I couldn't quite understand. He was speaking to me kind of in Italian. I know for sure he asked me if I wanted a coffee, which was so freaking sweet. And I really did want it, but I kind of was like focused on getting this done, getting the job done. But he was the sweetest. He kind of got real close to me and was we were holding the umbrella together. It was so precious. It was just uh, a really great moment of humanity just being out there. We're all soaking wet. We're all just trying to talk to each other in our languages and I loved it. Oh, I'm tearing up. It was just a great moment. I'm so glad Ian started it. Um, I also walked an umbrella girl to the LCR Honda garage. She was like from Sweden, I want to say, and she asked me if it rained like this all the time in Texas and I said, no, you guys are just lucky bringing the rain to us. But that was sweet too that I was an umbrella girl for an umbrella girl. And who else did I walk? I walked a man back into, I believe he worked with one of the helmet companies. So he was back in the little buildings, but that was pretty much the end of my excitement. Some of the more exciting things, uh, my friend Fran, she walked Steve Day all the way down to the press center, which is really precious. She also walked Miguel Oliveira's fiance, wasn't his, fiance quite yet, but Miguel Oliveira is now fiance to the Tech 3 area. But the best story of this whole thing, and I think it's just karma, because Ian kicked it off. He was the first person to go offer an umbrella. He had two of the best experiences that morning. I guess he walked Danilo Petrucci's uh, mechanic over to the Ducati garage, and Ian was totally ducati out. He had a Ducati umbrella, a Ducati zip up, and the guy just brought him in. He brought him into the garage, unveiled Petrucci's uh, bike, and Ian got to get a picture standing next to Petrucci's bike. Got to freaking go in the garage, get the Petrucci's bike unveiled to him, and we were all freaking out about that, of course, because, oh my god, Ducati factory garage! But again, I know that it's all about karma because Ian started this whole helping people and holding the umbrellas for them. And then another great moment that I love so much, this story, I think about it all the time and it makes me smile. Ian, uh, I guess he caught Miguel. Miguel, he walked Miguel over to his area. And Miguel was uh, talking to Ian and said, oh, so I see you like Ducati. And Ian uh, unzipped the little bit of his Ducati shirt and he happened to have a KTM shirt on underneath and showed Miguel the KTM logo and Miguel cracked up. So that story is one of my favorite stories of the entire weekend. And it didn't even happen to me. It just, it happened to my friend. Our shoes were soaked. Their jeans were soaked. We were soaked to the bone, but it was so worth it. We were laughing and just getting people where they needed to be. So that's my story about how I was an umbrella girl and how Fran, Ian, and I were just umbrella girls for lots of people that day. Here's a few cute pictures. And I hope you like this story. Again, it's one of my all-time favorite stories about GP uh, that I got to experience. Of course, I'll be covering the British GP coming up this weekend. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh, my dad's going to be in town, so I don't know what my watch schedule is going to be like, but I'm going to for sure try to get up and watch the GP race uh, on time on Sunday morning. Well, Sunday morning for me, Sunday afternoon for some of you all. But thanks for watching. I appreciate the subscribers. Ah! Uh, thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. I really appreciate it. So keep, keep tuned to my channel and I hope to share some more experiences with you. Take care everyone. Bye.